Hezbollah vowed to escalate its war against Israel Friday after the killing of Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar. According to Israel, Sinwar was killed by Israeli troops in a gun battle in southern Gaza on Wednesday. The killing of Sinwar is a pivotal event in the year-long conflict. He was the mastermind of the October 7, 2023 attack that triggered the Gaza war. And he was named Hamas's overall leader after the killing of political chief Ismail Haniya in Tehran in July. The Israeli military released drone video of what it said was Sinwar sitting on an armchair and covered in dust inside a destroyed building. Reuters has verified the location, but not the date of the video. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said after Sinwar's death, this was the beginning of the end of the war in Gaza. To the people of Gaza, I have a simple message. This war can end tomorrow. It can end if Hamas lays down its arms and returns our hostages. The axis of terror that was built by Iran is collapsing before our eyes. Nasrallah is gone. His deputy Muhsin is gone. Haniya is gone. Def is gone. Sinwar is gone. The reign of terror that the Iranian regime has imposed on its own people and on the peoples of Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and Yemen, this too will come to an end. Families of the Israeli and foreign hostages still held in Gaza welcomed the news about Sinwar but repeated their call for a deal to bring the hostages home. Meanwhile, Lebanon's Hezbollah and Iran remained defiant. Iran's mission to the UN said the spirit of resistance will be strengthened after Sinwar's death. In a phone call to Netanyahu, US President Joe Biden said Sinwar's death could be the chance for the conflict in Gaza to finally end and for Israeli hostages to be brought home. US State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller called Sinwar the chief obstacle to ending the war. In a news briefing, he said the U.S. wants to kickstart talks on a proposal to achieve a ceasefire and secure the release of hostages. What we would hope is that whoever the next leader of Hamas is, he will look at what has happened over the past year and look at the suffering that Hamas's actions have brought upon the Palestinian people who they aim to represent, whose cause they aim to advance, and will look and decide that they ought to pursue a different path forward. They ought to pursue a path that isn't one of death and destruction and chaos and harm to Israeli civil civilians and harm to Palestinian civilians. Meanwhile, Washington also reiterated calls for a political solution in Gaza and for Israel to not just continue military operations that they will have to repeat over and over again.